Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another new game on the channel. I'm just realizing now that it's a little bit on the loud side since changing things around. Let's just bring things down just a wee bit. There's some nice hammer bang in there for you. So, Through the Ages, really interesting uh, board game that's been adapted online. It's been adapted online for some time, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. And I thought, you know, why don't we revisit this game and play through it. I now have the, the DLC expansion for it, so there's a few more leaders and cards, and people like board games on this channel. Let's go ahead and do a local game. Custom game, and... Uh, let's just do against two medium AIs. I find this game is actually quite difficult. Um, so, I uh, we, might, we might struggle more than you would uh, imagine. I find this game is it's really well played, though. Like I'm, it, It's a lot of fun here. So, let's just make sure that random mix. Let's do a random mix so that we get kind of a taste of what the new cards are. I... We get some of the base cards, we get some of the new cards, and then we'll see what happens. So, um, let's hit play and get into it. So, in this game, I need to figure out the best place to put my thing, but it's probably up here. What's happening is that the start of the game happens, and there's this kind of sub-phase that's going to happen, where we can go up here and grab cards. The way the game works is every round you're going to uh, get a series of actions. See down here, there's like these little white, uh, excuse me, there's these little white bubbles. These are my actions that I can take domestically, grabbing cards from this track and doing whatever. And then there are some red bubbles, which are for building and upgrading military units specifically. And different government types, right now we have despotism, because it's the start of the game, have different numbers of each. So over the course of the game, I don't know, things are gonna be cool. Now, how this game works is we take time to buy cards like here, uh, let's see here, rich land, which allows us to build or upgrade a mine or farm, and we can pay one less uh, ore for it, because over the course of the game, we're gonna be getting two food, and then two ore, and then a little bit of or, uh, science to research cards. And over here, we can see that we have agriculture, cost two ore and we can take a unit of population this this yellow dot and add it to agriculture but to do that we need to spend the two ore to add it there similarly we we could send out more people to do bronze mining and once we send this unit out to do that production step like to, to produce more it's going to increase these however as um as we use more and more population, because eventually I'm going to run out of little yellow dots in this box, I'm going to spend more food to purchase that population. And then soon enough, you can see as we fill out this box and it empties, we're going to have to pay a food and upkeep to feed all our people and start paying for three food for the next population and more and more and more. Not only that, we're going to need more services to keep people happy. Now we can get services, happiness, from things like religion early on. We have the hanging gardens perhaps that we could go after, um, but what have you. So here we are now, we have two points to spend. We can grab cards from the from here. Ashoka is a new leader for me. Um, you can have one leader active at a time. If we were to purchase this leader, we could activate it for another civic point on our next turn. For instance, if you have civil cards of two different colors in your hand, you produce an extra one. If three or more colors, then produce an extra one and one. Interesting, civil cards. So that's pretty interesting because it means you have to grab lots of cards. Um, I actually don't really like that so much for us. We could grab the stockpile and we could grab the wonder. Wonders are interesting because right now it only costs one to grab this wonder. It costs two to grab things from this um, side. But as you grab more and more wonders, it takes more and more effort to uh, to do them. I really don't love our start. What I might do is just start us off with a couple of um, couple of like just uh, green cards here, and then we'll end turn. They're grabbing Alexander the Great in the very first turn. None of this moves around, and then it gets back. So this is the actual first age. It is now. Um, things are going on basically he got a card from the thing we're gonna look at it here in a second so our, our our opponent here has spent his first turn 
he grabbed the Acropolis, an urban building is one higher, um, talk about that later, and peaceful changes of government cost one less science for each urban building you have. Very, very interesting. I would have loved this wonder. It's new for me. And he's got a leader, which is whenever you prepare an event, whenever you prepare an event, when Confucius leaves play, score one. You may prepare non-military events as events. When revealed, non-event cards are treated as everyone gains one science. Great. So basically, in these are two different things, right? Whenever you prepare an event, which will happen sooner rather than later, um, you get a, a science. And then whenever he leaves play later on, you get another science. So that will help their science basically by one per turn. Um, so it's Argo. I mean, I'd love to grab Roman Rhodes, but I already grabbed... Uh, sorry, this is him. I would love to grab Roman Rhodes. It only costs us one. What's interesting about it is it also comes with a population and it comes with a uh, blue box here which allows us to um, uh, it, there's less chance of us getting into this corruption status which we'll talk about as it becomes relevant so perhaps we take it it's pretty expensive because it takes four actions to complete it right build 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 but it's pretty cheap along the way in age one, produce an extra ore. In age two, produce an extra science. In later ages, produce two. Um, that's pretty good, actually. It's expensive, but we could certainly grab this and put it out there. And then, what is Boudica? At the start of your action phase, if you are one of the two weakest civilizations, gain two for building military units. Otherwise, get a nice mix. Um, I don't mind being Boudica. That seems pretty good. Uh, alternatively, we could be Julius Caesar. Uh, and we can perform two political actions per turn. And we get an additional red. That's interesting as well. Let's go with the production from Boudica. We'll put her out there. We have this Roman thing here. Before... Um, before we do anything else, I don't even want to spend a turn building this yet. Um, we would like to upgrade or build something. We could go for more science output, which might be nice. We could go for more uh, material construction. We might go for more agriculture. For now, we can take this unit. We don't have quite enough for the lab. I'm going to go ahead, and what we'll do is we'll do a rich land, and we'll build a additional mine for one instead of two. So now we're getting three per turn. And we don't have an extra population sitting around. But we would like one. We have enough food to purchase them, but here we go. So he's Alexander. He gets additional strength per military unit. All civilizations on your turn gain one population. Love it. So he's gotten to the point where he's at a minus one happiness. Uh, from the fact that he doesn't have a happiness building and he's gone into the next level of people. So for us, how this works is we have this little green card here. This is an event and what we do with it is we stack it into the pile of future events and every time we put one on this pile, a new thing comes up. And then as we get through uh, these kind of event cards, these I cards, the next uh, round will happen. So we're gonna take Good Harvest and put that away. And that's gonna bring out this, which is each player draws three military cards. We can only hold on to two cards um, based on the fact that we have two military. And we can even click here and see what's come out so far, what people have put in. And this is each person produces food immediately, ignoring consumption. So we know that will be relevant later. Um, so that's pretty cool. Right now we, we also have an extra two um, material plus two from Boudica, which can be spent on upgrading military units. So something worth considering. I think for us, what that means is that at least one of these is going to get put here, right? We're going to build a new unit. It's going to use the population, but it takes a military action to put them out. And then what we also have is this red card here, which is a tactic for every two units that we have of infantry we get plus one strength from fighting band tactics. If we had um, a cavalry unit, which we haven't even invented yet, 
we could chase something else. But for now, let's go ahead and take that. That means that we are now a little bit stronger. Um, we still have all of our civic actions. I would like to build this, but we don't have quite enough for it. Maybe we'll build half of it. Um, we could also get a theology. We need science, though, over time. I think that the printing press is probably the strongest thing that we can pick up right now. Um, we will need three science to build this, but after we build it, which we will have three science next turn, um, it costs three material to build, and it will start getting us more science and can apply to future modifiers and stuff like that. So, great, awesome. Uh... Let's get, I want to get an additional population, but it's just going to make them angry anyway. Let's go here and build three stages of that wonder. See, it doesn't, it doesn't actually spend enough of our material. Because while the material is here, see these blue boxes, it's not being consumed there. So what I could do is I could purchase a unit. Um, we're, we're at minus one, which is crappy and really not worth doing, but... I can't think of another thing to do. We can't upgrade these buildings. So let's do at least one stage of the wonder. Purchase a person. And then... Basically what this is doing is we would lose two uh, minerals if we had left this in play. By buying a unit here, we're going to lose one food for feeding people. And have a person available for the future. Theology would have been interesting, but going into religion too early and not getting any level of science is, I think, troublesome. Ultimately, you win the game by having the most um, culture at the end of the game. So things like wonders and uh, wonders and printing presses and other things will all work to help that out. So they got the warfare technology. That's pretty good. It gives them an additional pip, red pip per turn. MG Castle. All civilizations on your turn, you can gain two or two. That's good to know. Um, these events are kind of just flowing out. The Taj Mahal, interestingly. Oh, yeah. So we developed the fighting band. Now, since it's been a whole turn, everybody... Um, got that so before we start our turn we get to put in something here this is everybody scores their um science or the two weakest civilizations lose materials let's put in the scientist one because i know that that's something that we want to invest in development of civil life on your turn you may either increase your population or build a farm mine or urban building or develop a technology it costs one less whatever you do it costs one less and then we can do this, which I think for us, we have enough food for another person right now. Let's just gain the two minerals and then develop printing press for two seems nice. And then, oh, I get to pick one. This is an ore, interesting, but it's more flexible. It doesn't have to be spent on military. Wow, we have a lot of bonuses coming in. Still, I'll take the material for now. I mean, I love the idea of... Can I look out here? Like, the Hemji Castle... On evaluating war aggression, you may choose one of your units and add its strength here temporarily. It gives you three culture attacking or an extra plus three defending. Meh. Taj Mahal, if you replace your leader this turn, taking this wonder costs you two civil actions less. Interesting. So, for instance, I could take Michelangelo. He is a era one, not an era A. I could replace my person and then grabbing Taj Mahal would be free. I don't think I can actually grab it though unless I complete this. So, uh, why can't I? Oh yeah, I have to make this decision. Still, I'm gonna take the material. 
then I'm going to complete this wonder. And then, annoyingly, if I grab him, I can't play him and then get Tosh Mahal out. Hmm. Frustrating, but reasonable, I guess. Um, that gave us an additional uh, population, which actually put us just under. Unfortunately, we're going to go just over. So we're going to get a little discount this turn in terms of hiring a person. And then with our last, we can build a library over here. Just a better version of the lab. It provides one culture in addition to the uh, thing, but there are ways of upgrading it and stuff later, which I think might be relevant. So we have two extra red things left. That means that we should be drawing, A, we're gonna get all our production, which is nice. And then we draw two extra things, extra cards. Uh, development of planning, all civilizations, Three unused age A events are revealed. On your turn, you may choose and apply one of those events to your civilization. Okay, lovely. So it looks like they built some religion to keep people happy. That unlocks that additional worker. They're also building uh, tier two infantry. Spooky. And their leader gives them plus one combat per person. Uh... So we never actually increased our food harvest, unfortunately, but everybody got two there, so it's equal. So, oh, they annoyingly got cartography. I'm so jealous. Cartography is a great technology. So we know that scientific breakthrough is in here, so people will score their science again. I wonder what the best thing for us to do is. First, we want to put a thing away, right? So each civilization with more than four loses half, round it up. Uh, no, thank you. Raiders, two weakest civilizations lose stuff. Uh, wealthy territory, somebody gets a bunch of boxes. I think that we're willing to put out the wealthy territory. That's fine. Uh, aggressive players, all players gain one science from that guy earlier. Choose one of these for myself. Oh, I wish I could do this, but I don't have the idle worker to put. I don't think so, at least. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. So let's get a development of religion for free. So that basically just took what didn't cost me an action, and it didn't cost me the materials, and now people are happy in my, my civilization. I'm not the strongest civilization, so I could um, hire more people. um and like make warriors i think what we really need though is to go and take irrigation and develop it and i would also like i mean i would like warfare but really what i need is to save up for something like theocracy isn't so bad i mean it, it gives us a culture and a combat and a happiness which is nice um but really, there's a, some religions or, or things out there that have more than more than four civic actions, which I want the most. Maybe warfare is worth taking. Five science. We have plus two per turn. Sure, let's 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 take it. And that means that next, this idol worker. The only thing I can do with them is make him a warrior. Why doesn't that? Uh, that doesn't free up a box? Oh no, because that uses the two I have for free. Okay, one sec. We can undo things. I need to spend some resources. So like, you are going to be a better uh, agricultural farm. And then I have two free resources anyway, so you can become a warrior. We're still not in the lead. So really what I'd like to do is develop something like knights. Trying to actually purchase with our extra materials. Eleanor of Aquitaine. I haven't seen her before. Masonry would have been incredible for us. Masonry up here um, allows you to develop two stages of a wonder for one action. So the Roman road we could have done very quickly. And now there's no wonders available, unfortunately. Um, but that's fine. So what is our decision here? There is the developed territory throw. You get a population, you get a blue box, and you get three science. How much are you willing to pay for this? 
I would pay um, two guys plus the combat. This guy here uh, bid more than three, so he gets it for three. He basically gets the tiebreaker. Um, it's going to be really hard to beat green because green... Um, let's just hit okay here. Green built this right here, cartography, which gives him an innate two. He still has to send at least one unit, but like he's got a lot of extra power uh, for colonizing. I don't like dark ages. We still have our scientific breakthrough and it's very likely to come in. Raiders hurts the weakest too. A trade route agreement. We can use food as material material. No, I'll just put in this. Oh, and then we got the scientific breakthrough before I could do anything about it. So I don't know what the next card is. Um, okay, so I could grab knights. I could develop knights. I could purchase a thing. And I could build a knight for three. And then I could also upgrade this production of food. And that uses all our abilities. It leaves us with one. We have a very strong army at this point. Not bad. I can't... Because I didn't get infantry, I can't upgrade my existing infantry as smoothly. I didn't actually get to see what Eleanor does. When you prepare an event, draw two military cards and score one. Uh, all players gain one. Okay, the iron. They're upgrading their production. That's pretty good. I mean, masonry is pretty lined up for us. And what about Christopher Columbus? As a politics action, you can remove him from play uh, to colonize the territory in your hand. Interesting. Uh, the strongest civilization takes one yellow from the weakest. I think we should play this event. Strategic territory. Once again, I'm willing to send three power for this. I mean, probably more. Honestly, I don't know that if we get this the, get this population back. I mean, it's it's two military strength for the rest of the game. I'll just say I'll send all my units, all my ground units. Okay, so I have to pay four, um, and I can make up this four any way I want. So I could send like this, but. Instead, I'd rather send it like this because then I get to keep my knights. And I did get that uh, those yellow tokens back. So now it's cheaper to purchase um, stuff. All right. Now I have an innate two strength from that territory. Love to see that. Um, monarchy is very strong, but it costs a lot of uh, materials. It costs a lot of science. Eight science, but you get that additional civic. I don't have something to colonize. What's Isabella about? During colonization, you can spend extra. That's pretty awesome, actually. I would love to be Isabella right now. We're about to go into the next era, and then Boudicca is going to leave. But there's no... I don't need you. I want Monarchy for later. We're going to lose this Stockpile card if I don't play it. Still, it's only one resource. Um, but, like, this doesn't seem that good. Because I'm not spending enough. Do I really... I mean, there's two Monarchies available. Do I think both of them will grab... Get taken? Probably. Oh, it's such an awkward place because it's not down here, but let's go here. Let's get another library. And then I have nothing I can purchase that costs enough, actually. So I guess I'm going to have spillage either way. Because even if I play stockpile, oh, it gives me one of each too. Ugh. I really didn't need one of each. Okay, in that case, let's grab monarchy. Uh, not much to do for your two things because I don't have any extra people. So I'm going to lose two of my material here. What's really upsetting me is that, like, I could have just spent two here for free. <laughs> right? So I guess that's not so bad. Um, 
And then we grab Monarchy. I can give up my whole turn next turn to get Monarchy for um, for just two science, but it seems lame. Raiders, wealthy territory. I mean, I could grab Masonry. It's a good tech. Let's grab it. It means I didn't play Stockpile, but that's fine. Uh, aggression to enslave that could be useful I don't want a trade agreement I didn't like dark ages all civilizations lose one population no thank you we are getting some uh, some materials coming in our way which is nice all right I'm willing to settle this at a cost I mean it gives it three cues but like my problem right now is I can't spend my bloody, uh, mi like, my minerals. I need something like the Great Wall. I'll say I'll, I'll spend three and see what happens. Okay, I did win it. No, he won it. He said he was going to do four. Which is fine. At least we're bidding enough so they're not getting it, like, for free. Because if we had bid one, green would have got it for, like, one power or whatever. All right, how do we feel that we're doing? About to go into age, like, freaking four here. The two weakest civilizations. No, I'm weak. I guess losing two minerals, though, isn't a big deal. And uncertain borders in the future. Monarchy did come down, and they didn't even take it a whole turn later. Wow. All right. Um, enslaved. So gain two or two from your rival and they lose one population. So I'm going to pick green and he could play cards from his hand to protect himself. He did. Uh, or Oh, and then raiders happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's lose two material because, you know, reasons. So this Carolina University here seems pretty good. I definitely need to spend food. I would like... Isabella and I would like this here is playing Isabella free when you're replacing it is aye 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 because we're about to lose our previous leader so that makes a lot of sense for us we could be grabbing the iron mine a lot of people say you need that but like we have had so much material here that it's not a problem Building this shouldn't be too hard. If we can get masonry first, then we can build it in fewer actions. And I don't actually... Oh, I have no red. What happened to our red? Oh, we lost the red when we... Um... Oh, that's annoying. When we... What do you give me? one and two is that that good like i'm just upset because i have two uh material to spend on military but i don't have any military points i could get more food coming in but that doesn't make sense either i could get masonry it's gonna make it longer to get my other stuff but if i build a second level of library, then I'll have enough for monarchy next turn. And that, to me, is very appealing. I may as well, if I play stockpile, I'm gonna lose the two that I gained. So that card's basically gonna get wasted. Um, during this turn, you have an extra two material for building and upgrading units, and one extra military action. I mean, that could be okay. And nobody's even developed new tactics. So that's fine. Production, here we go. So much freaking mineral, man. And here we go. Deck two uh, is starting to come out. A Republic for seven. Interesting. Uh, looks like aggression successful. Yellow attacked green and stole some minerals as well. Code of Laws, what a sick technology. They were both, both copies of it were at the end. We don't have enough, uh, 
Enough science for all the text we want to get. Drama. I think William Shakespeare could be in the deck, and if he is, then that's really strong. Um, I have to skip politics because I don't have a politics card. I would like monarchy. Develop it peacefully. So now it cost us one, but we still have four actions left. Cannon and cavalry. Interesting. Very good. Let's make sure we get an additional unit. I mean, we could get more, uh, more, more church. Oh, I didn't actually take uh, that university. Yeah, I forgot. So what will we do with our additional actions here? Oh, two for military units, it doesn't really matter to me. I could just go and buy a cavalry. I kind of like a cannon. Code of Laws is, is too good to let go. And then we can also grab Drama. It's just these are all tier one cards, so it feels kind of lame. But we have four uh, we have four science, so. And now we'll have more actions every turn. So I'm feeling okay about that. Rebelling. Each player immediately spends two civil actions without effect. Per gis Discontent Worker. That's like the red ones in our pool. Nobody had any. Um, this guy also has... A lot of happiness. Hanging Gardens, I think, is giving him two. Okay, so somebody developed that technology. Um, cavalry and infantry, which, I mean, we could copy for one point. So aggression of plunder. See, that costs one point. Take something from your rival. We don't have any strong, we don't have any uh, anything near us. So what is this? Autonomous territory. We lose two but we gain two. That's super cool, actually. Most cultures. So the most culture scores five. So we have 19 culture. He has 17. He has 31. Yikes. Okay, let's do autonomous territory. And then this is the last. Everybody gains one. Suez Canal. Uh, when you complete this wonder, you may colonize a territory in your hand. You produce an extra ore for every colony you have. I have one colony. It's interesting. What I really need is food for more units. Maybe I take selective breeding. And then instead of developing the technologies in my hand that I would like, I can get selective breeding and then up these guys. Architecture, are you the same? Urban buildings have a reduced cost. I feel like a crazy person. Like, I can't grab more of that stuff. Instead, I need to grab reserves and use it to get more food or something. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, if we can copy uh, the medieval army, I think we should. It costs... It costs two to copy it, though. Yeah, Maybe we don't. Well, it's two more strength, and we have three points, so I will copy it. It's fine for now. Uh, let's go ahead and throw away our aggressive plunder, because we don't have a, a weaker neighbor right now. I really want a colony card to come up, because as Isabella, we can spend extra. Yellow will produce an extra culture... A cereal box has plus four strength and produces one culture less. As I am protected by yellow. I reject. Yellow is already doing really well in terms of culture right now, so. Yeah, no thank you. Strategy is cool. And see, some these guys have a lot of those techs going on, so. Oh! Oh, well, we lose all our stored food. I little, I needed our food so badly. What I really need is journalism. See, journalism is a six science to purchase, but it will allow me to upgrade all my libraries. The problem is that, like... Okay, here's National Pride. Uncertain borders. So, yellow's the weakest, green is the strongest, so it hurt yellow. Love it. Um... I only have four science, unfortunately. 
I love the ocean liner. It is so strong. It's during your action you can gain one population. It costs no food. It costs no action or food. So you can just grab a population every turn. Um, I could create drama. I could create drama. I don't like to say that. Um, patriotism or reserves. Even if I used reserves for three food, it wouldn't actually get me the next level of anything. I can't think of a, like, if I do this, I can't, like, I have to deconstruct and then build it. And that seems dumb. Hmm. And I gotta, I have to play the cards, so. Two, four units. The fact that I lost seven food just now actually just killed my turn absolutely destroyed it i think that i have to play something like masonry then you grab journalism or the scientific method the scientific method is pretty nice three science per person and i could be upgrading this guy doing philosophy um why is this Urban units have their cost decreased. Yeah, 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 exactly. So this one here says it would cost like nine normally, but it only costs seven because we have that scientific thing. Okay. I'm not going to have enough for you next turn. I actually have to do this and this. It's the only way to have the six coming in. And then as much as I like to do code of laws... I think we have to do, like this population could just be moved up so easily that I would rather, but again, three, like how much culture are they at? Five per turn, two per turn? Oh, this decision's killing me. I used to be fast at board games and now I'm slow. Let's double down on what we're already using and then No, because that, I, I didn't even realize that gives us a negative happiness right now. I can't, I can't take him out of, of doing what he's doing. I can't do that with you. Maybe you have to just de deconstruct a freaking mine? That seems like actually insane. Seems so insane. And then journalism, and then let's play, I don't know, patriotism, just for the sake of getting an additional red card, I guess. Because again, I don't have enough population or, like, I need riflemen. Again, I have all these cards that cost science. What? Oh, why didn't I grab breakthrough? Oh, because I didn't have enough room in my hand, I think. Call to arms. The weakest player must immediately spend two civil action and draw two military cards. The second weakest must spend... Oh, God. And I think we were the weakest because of turn order. It always kind of puts tiebreaker on the person whose turn it is. Oof. I need, like, an ocean liner so badly. Each civilization scores one for each completed wonder. And one if it wonder was built in A. Okay. Got a little bit of extra science there, which is pretty nice. This guy's three, uh, three things out there. Is the ocean liner going to get to me? It is. We need it, okay? So first, the Cold War. Two strongest civilizations get six science or arms industry. Okay, let's just do the Cold War. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're about to get the Autonomous Territory. That's okay. I would like the Cold War. And then the Territory will come out. And I will, like, all in on this. Right? I could spend even more. Let's just say a bit up to 11. And I'm going to get it for two. So, I mean, I, you have to send somebody, right? I don't think I can just... Yeah, yeah. You have to send a person. 
And I could spend my minerals because I'm Elizabeth, but we're gonna colonize. And then a bunch of food, a bunch of science. I mean, I really need the science, really. Out of all the things I could grab here, the food is incredible, but the, the science, right? What do you, one sec, what does the ocean liner cost? It costs a total of 10 minerals. Okay, let's grab the science. And then the ocean liner. And then we finish it in one turn. And then the ocean liner for free gets us a new person. And then I don't have enough. Okay, I lied. I don't need science because I have so much science coming in and I couldn't develop my technologies even if I wanted to. It's going to be material. Ocean liner. Build it. Free dude. Military. Military specifically because I have the medieval army. And I don't have tech cannon technology. And now I'm pissed because I'm not getting riflemen. Uh, but I need this free person every turn. And now I have a ton of technologies. Yeah, this is... This might sound crazy, but it's right. <clears throat> Alright, we have a bunch of cards now. It's fine. If we get attacked, things are going. Cold War. Oh, no, we didn't get it. It came. It, we top-decked the card we planted before we had an ability to build those right from what he built? What's what's giving us that music? Harvard. Oh, cool. Kremlin. Kremlin makes people unhappy. But it has a lot of other benefits. Justice system is very strong. Like I gotta use the get these technologies out though, man. Uh, ravages of time. Uh your wonders crumble and produces two uh culture instead i think my roman territory is already doing that vast territories i mean look let's just put it out there wow so we are going to get it for that instead of sending i actually think i want my minerals right so i think you do send all this because it's a ton of new people um so like we pay for one, we pay for one, we get our free one. That makes a lot of sense so far. Um, a cannon looks cool. The Louvre looks cool. Napoleon's cool. But no, none of that is as important as getting this technology and this technology. I don't know, can you do this? No, you can't get more um, population in that sector. I need a knight and a person. Now I don't have enough uh, material, but I can use this reserves card I got earlier. And what do we want to do with that? I think we need to get coal so that we can do a big sprint up in the future for coal. Um, I don't know, I could grab an additional person for now. It's actually not, uh, somehow it's not expensive enough. It's interesting because like our food cost fewer blue blocks to have more food because each food on it is worth three. So like that's the really hard thing about our coal is that um, it's taking a lot of blue blocks when we have a lot of coal. That's the real big benefit. So next turn, this costs eight to build. I don't have a way of doing that. But even if I were to grab something like frugality or engineering, whatever, four less is not better than just spending two and having a $2 discount on the next one. But I guess that doesn't commit my uh, population to it. But still, this gets us a whole... This gives us two now, it saves us the two in corruption, and it gives us one more this turn. 
and population for us shouldn't be a problem anymore. But it kind of is, but whatever. Age two. So we lost our drama card and Isabella because we didn't build it in time. National pride. Yikes. I don't know that we're doing so good here, gang. If we look at all the points, right? 62. A lot of really cool stuff. 35 on green. I'm the weakest player. Strongest player scores three. And I'm going to lose a population. Oh, God. I think timing is going to make it so that I lose the population and have to break the building. Yikes. Um, Alright, first... Each civilization leader that is not from the current age must be removed. Okay, let's do that because it might screw with them. The strongest player... Oh, interesting. So now I have to, because I don't have a person yet, I have to destroy something. I'm going to destroy a military army um, with the hope that we can get around it. This gives more based on tier, eh? Cool. I actually would like to know what that means. So just for science, let's buy a unit first, put them there, and then put this out. So it's worth three right now. So plus one for being tier two units. Interesting. Or wait, are these tier one units? They're tier one units. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's talk. Back. Each of your theaters produces extra... I mean, Bill Gates, like, tier threes are coming out soon. I don't want a tier two. I just put in, I, I, like, the Ionoclad thing. I really wanted coal, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. For now, we go cannon, invent the cannon. Let's bring in workers. Oh, I grabbed the free one? No, 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 no. Pay for the first two. Then bring in the free one. And then, yeah, you're a cannon. I mean, a cannon is how much strength again? It's three strength. Okay, first get the cavalry. And then get us this. I mean, I guess we're still the weakest. If we're going to be the weakest, does it really matter? We do have code of laws. What do we want to do? Just take Bill Gates. Bill Gates, I'm pretty sure. Labs. We don't really use labs, unfortunately. I needed yellow cards, but like... Build a stage of the wonder and pay five less. That's dumb. Hollywood is too far. James Cook is not of this era. I guess I could go after the labs. I also probably gonna need more happiness soon, but like, I hate it. I don't have material, you know? So we just grab a bunch of population. Yeah, I mean, at least we have 45 culture and we're, we're keeping up with, with green. But the fact that we have no military means that we're going to get jumped on, I think, here in a second. We've missed out on a lot of, like, passive buffs. What does Hollywood scale with? Libraries and theaters. So we do have libraries, so I guess we could use that. He did take Bill Gates. 
Military theory is expensive. Rockets, holy damn. Uh, war over culture, impact, no, freedom of movement. All civilizations on your turn, you may move one of your workers from one card to another. You have to pay the difference. Okay. I'll move my lab over here. Ravages of time. We have to break our old wonder. It was only giving us two culture anyway before. Now it's giving us the same two, so it's no big deal. Sid Myers. Each of your labs produces culture. Cool, but not what we do. Multimedia is over there. Satellites. Interesting. Um, I really need coal. To get coal, I really need science next turn and some materials. I also really need happiness. Revolutionary idea is score six. Military build up is get five for building and upgrading military units two people are ahead of me so that makes sense i mean i could take sid myers but it's just gonna reduce my science income by one it's gonna give me no benefit i could grab a revolutionary idea we're gonna have a lot of discontent man I mean, I like satellites as well, but without the science, how do you do it, right? Do we do we have any, like... I don't think we have any more colonies in the deck that I know of, at least. Why are you guys so strong? What do you have? You just have raiding band and then four of these, and then you've developed military, theocracy, and navigation? Okay, I get it. I get it. And you have one from cartography and then three from strategy. So what you're saying is if I don't get military theory, I'm going to look stupid. I don't have the science for it, though. 11 science? Are you kidding me? No, we're going to do a military build-up because what's going to happen? And I actually can get something right now. What's going to happen is I'm going to have a lot of population that I can overcome the lack of population is what I'm hoping. So they lost a leader for not replacing theirs earlier. Charlie! Your best theater. I don't have a theater. Oh, man. Come on. You're killing me. Where's Shakespeare? A uh, wealthy territory. I would love this. Bid up to 10. Like a mad lad. I bid one. One was enough. Insanity? That was so many, like, cubes? I don't know, I feel like I got away with murder there, but apparently it's just chilling. Multimedia is cool. I love multimedia. Air Force is cool. Charlie Chaplin. Steve. Steve Jobs. Again, these are all labs. This whole time, I should have just upgraded my labs. I don't have a theater. Are you technically a theater? No, you're a sports stadium. What the hell? Loss of sovereignty. Yikes. Impact of variety. Doesn't really help me right now. Architecture doesn't really help me right now. Arms industry. I mean, we can throw that out there. Strategic land. Four military strength, if I can get it. I can't. Lame. That's bad. All right, so we get the coal. And we have to upgrade to it at least once. So that should save us a bunch of blue stuff. Then, military, like, revolutionary idea, right? Then do I grab air forces? Military build up. Then we get a duder. I mean, cavalry, cannon, this is not actually that good, okay, not cavalry then, cannon, cannon, 
mine. That costs five. If I get a person, they'll be upset, but at least it's action efficient. Okay, we have very unhappy people. That's fine. I don't want to start any wars right now because I'm... Well, I'm, I'm stronger than green for the first time. I wish I had a tactic for my people. What is this? Each civilization produces their stuff. So I got six and three. They got 16. Three and th one. Two, that seems like insanity. I mean, I don't need that much food production, okay? Because I'm getting one person per turn as a free action every time. But I just don't have the happiness because I never built like a sports center. Uh, has the best... We each have the best something technology. And for each technology type, you're the best or tied for. We gain two minerals. Cool. So this guy's like low on boxes, but he is upgrading an insane amount. 24 minerals? What the hell, man? Why? How is the movie's only one happiness? And what about Mahatma Gandhi? What's he saying? One sec. Uh, impact of competition, impact of architecture. So impact of architecture is... Each civilization is worth one per level of its urban buildings. We're going to level stuff up here in a second. Freedom of movement. So I would like to take a worker from... from philosophy and add it to it won't let me add it where I want to add it lame uh well I guess we can add it to religion it's not really what I wanted but it's helpful okay Gandhi, what do you benefit from? Do you not play an aggressive aggression or war cards? Interesting. Steve Jobs is labs, right? Yeah, I don't do labs. Okay, happiness from the sports center. Let's get this technology. Let's get that freebie. What am I building back here? Oh yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood, of course. Um, I really don't have the materials for all this. Getting a lab cost of five. Wow, well, at least it's getting this up. 73 to 83 to 100. Uh, I don't know, gang. I don't know about this. Uh, this is military. Revolutionary ideas, still six science. Could be helpful. I don't have any material left to build military units. I have 17 strength, though, so that's fine. We might actually do, like, a red activity, like raid or plunder. Um on green impact of economy so we actually got the most out of this for each minor farm or urban building for each or for each military unit whichever is lowest so i had the four military units probably what does the united nations gives for each wonder each car, special card blue technology for each type of urban building. Impacts of culture. Yeah, it's not so good. I mean, at least we got half points and yellow got left behind a little bit there. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should have built the movies. United Nations. 
Manhattan Project over there. Impact of Wonders. We have not built the most wonders. We did okay, though. Manhattan Project is 13 military. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what is this? Uh, military, like infantry and cannon. We could almost just go for that. Um, how much do you cost? You cost a total of 16 materials. I don't have that. We're the weakest again. So let's just do impact of variety for each type of unit or urban building. Impact of science, 14. Seven. I didn't have the... I have plus four. They have 17 and eight. I've played this game all wrong, man. I have played it so wrong. Uh, and that's the worst thing about this game. Like, if you were, if you were going to play it in, like, person... It's like such a long game to set up. There's so much admin. There's so much going on that if, if you're out of the game, you kind of know. Each of your arenas produces two culture. Once per game, before your political action, you may declare the Olympic Games. Score eight until the start of your next turn. Whoever plays a war or aggression card loses eight. I mean, I do have an arena. Cost two to get them, one to play them. And then. Now that's producing two. So, like. What do we want to do? Certainly. I think we pay and then take a freebie. And then a couple of really cheap infantry means that we can make this thing. And we have 25 military all of a sudden. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, I mean, we have just enough for this. So that, thir that brings us up to two more culture. And it gives us four more strength somehow. Because professional sports, I guess, just, you know, make people stronger. Um, we'll get our technology i don't have enough for you urban growth build or upgrade an urban building pay for less so this is for material or i could just develop air force oh we also have this bloody thing yeah 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 i wish i just had like raw materials so i guess for that i'll grab urban growth uh, I don't want a military alliance with nobody. So if I'm strong next turn, maybe we'll attack green. With a raid. Computers. That's kind of cool. Each uh, civilization scores points equal to its science. Oh my god. The person with all that science, though. They're like 200 points. I'm so embarrassed. Why did I grab Hollywood? What does Hollywood give me again? It gives me something. Look at all the actions they have. Present time. Each loses to discard an H2 military card. Did I... What did I discard? Declare Olympic Games or not. Okay, I'll declare the Olympic Games. Nobody can attack. I get the extra thing. We'll do impact of competition, architecture. I did build some arenas, so at least I got a couple of extra points from that. I'm down here with yellow in the terms of scoring, man. We are, we are struggling. Um, yeah, so bring in our free dude here. Now we can't even buy them. Ran out of potential people. Um, what do we put out here? Impacts of... We already know. Impacts of variety. Each type of unit, urban building, and special blue technology. So we have three of those. We do have enough science that we could develop uh, something. I don't have enough for. I do have enough for communism. So that gives us more actions per turn. I would have loved civil service, but look, man, we only get one. Then we go urban growth. Let's get a 
build a new H2 library. And then this, I can only have four people in this category. We get another library. Now we're at plus 16 production. I mean, it's something. Grab you, grab you. We could grab engineering or something. I don't know, getting another farm or something doesn't really matter to me. I have all this extra, like, blue actions. I feel like I've been too efficient this game. If you'd believe it. Take the movies and engineering. Oh, what about you? I keep forgetting that I want to do you, but next turn I'm going to get the reserves. Score twice the culture produced by your theaters and elsewhere. So movie, that's a theater. So if I could get the, the movie theater next turn... That would be sick. But I don't have enough science for that at all. So why am I even grabbing the card? Because I have nothing better to do. That's why. Uh. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. You did not work on the Red Cross even though you have enough food to cover or build a stage. Oh, wait. Wh where's the Red Cross? Red Cross. International Red Cross. Okay, one sec. I didn't even notice that had been built. You. You built the Red Cross. You. Where is it? You. Red Cross. Other players can also work on this wonder. Unlike you, they are limited to one stage per turn. Each stage, the player who built it immediately scores six. When completed, score one for each colony in play. Well, I mean, I'd still rather get six points than not get six points. I mean, sure, we'll take the six points. Fine. Um, I don't have the science for this stuff, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Um... So give me the movies. I don't think this gives me anything if I don't use it, you know? I mean, what's that two worth? I mean, actually, can I undo things? Like, does that give me the minerals back? No, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, we're here now. 160, that's not the end of the world, but it's still pretty embarrassing. Impact of variety, so unit types and building types. Apparently we didn't even have the most because they had a bunch of blue stuff that I didn't get to develop. I had the least. That was the only thing I was even like hopeful for. International Red Cross, yeah, yeah he's gonna build it. Um, unfortunately, we only got one stage each, but fair enough. We had a bunch of extra food, so. I mean, there may have been a world in which if we didn't contribute to it, he wouldn't have been able to finish it, but I I don't know. I think this is the last turn coming up, and they would have done it at that point, right? They still have a lot of food and stuff. Uh, each government... Each civilization scores two per level of its government and special blue technologies. I don't have enough special blue technologies, man. We got wrecked. We're again the weakest army. They just got the internet for th 300 points. We're getting run over, man. What the heck? Uh, this is my final turn of the game. I've got seven science. All of this requires science, basically. I'm going to skip politics. We can play reserves to get four uh, rock. And then at least we're going to complete this. Which will give us uh, some score. Love it. 14 points for Hollywood. We have no materials for anything else. We have nothing to copy or do. I... Oh, wait. There's nothing left for me to do. 
I'm sorry, game. I wish I was better. I wish I was better at this game, but I'm not. I find it very difficult. Uh, and then, yeah, all the scoring cards are going to come out now. That people have stacked up over the course of the game. I, I didn't even see a scoring card for, like, amount of people. But let's see. Strength. Uh, we didn't get any points for military strength. We're currently at the bottom here. Uh, for each level of its military units, we did at least get the same points there. Amount of food produced. Yeah, that wasn't us. We didn't need food produced. Each completed wonder stage. We did two points better per civil action and military action. 24. Oh, two more points. Gaining on uh, on yellow. But no, we came dead last to medium AI. Like, I... um. If you know the cards, like, if you know, like, the theory, I'm sure there's a way to just breeze this game. But, like, it's such a long haul, right? Like, even with all the computer analytics and whatever, it took an hour and ten minutes to get through that. And I'm a pretty quick player. Like, I hummed and hawed here and there. But, I mean, it's a complicated game where every decision from era A to era 1 to 2 to 3 to present is just insanity to me like there's just so much going um and i don't know maybe maybe i just need to be more willing to spend four culture points to grab the thing i think is very important but i did that for monarchy and then it turns out that a turn later i could have grabbed it so like do i need to use more yellow cards do I need to, like, what do I got? What do I do, man? I had so much minerals for, like, the mid-game, and I was like, I can't spend these. And then as soon as, as soon as I got the tech online, I was like, I have no minerals because I spent no, all game not upgrading it. I don't know, man. I don't know. This was a interesting game. We were blue, right? So we were kind of saying middle of the pact, middle of the pact, middle of the pact, middle of the pact. And then we spent this kind of, like, last, like, I don't know, third quarter, just weak, right? We got this online, thankfully, and we spent this whole time kind of trying to kickstart that that knowledge that um, our stuff, basically, <laughs> trying to kickstart it. But my God, uh, by then we were just out of minerals. I mean, like, there's the minerals right here. Just uh, 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 please, please, please. And then you can see our food. I'm pretty sure our food, yeah, we got it up and then we just left it there. Why? I thought we had like the lowest food. Our science, we just got dominated in science. And what is this? This is our age stuff at the bottom. Military strength was kind of all over. A couple of big uh, colonizations. But, you know, I think that that's... That's a wrap, you know? It was quite it was quite the game, but we just we just got run over here at the end. I don't really know what this what this is here. I bet you this is like culture per turn or something. Um And we actually had decent culture per turn. Like all game we had decent culture per turn, which got us ahead. But green did not have culture per turn, but they had an end game of, of insanity. Insanity. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.